Good evening. Welcome to our wrap of day one of all that happened at the Hindustan Times Leadership Summit being brought to you exclusively in partnership with CNN and IBN. Yes, it was a power-packed day that began with the Prime Minister's speech. Our challenges in nation building are primarily at home. Global economic crisis and rise of terror are challenges, but the real challenge is internal. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh's key concerns for the next decade. Defense of dynastic politics to his ambition beyond politics. Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee, the UPA's man for all seasons on corruption, coalition and consensus. Test cricket is the ultimate. And can all forms of cricket 2020 one day and test coexist? Well, Sunil Gavaskar, Ravi Shastri and Sir Richard Hadley on future of the game. Yes, all that and much more in the next 30 minutes. But first on the block was the Prime Minister who identified his three challenges for the next decade from troubles within to stronger states and his pursuit of a peaceful neighbourhood. The Prime Minister's vision of a new India and a new South Asia by 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, our challenges in nation building are primarily at home and that these are best addressed by ensuring sustained and inclusive economic growth and development. If we get our house in order, if we can liberate each and every citizen of this free nation from the tyranny of poverty, ignorance and disease, there is no external challenge that we cannot overcome. 2020 is not far away. Our primary challenge in the next decade will be to sustain high rates of economic growth, to ensure that the growth process remains equitable, to invest in the education and health of every child and adult to generate gainful employment, to build modern, efficient and environment-friendly infrastructure, and to ensure that government and public services are efficient and responsive to our people's needs and function transparently. I submit to you that India cannot be built from Delhi alone. India lives in states. The future of our country depends, therefore, a great deal on the quality of political leadership and of government at the state and at local levels. One of our biggest challenges remains the challenge of reducing regional disparities. Equally important is the challenge of ensuring the economic and social uplift of our scheduled costs, scheduled tribes, other backward classes, less privileged sections of society, and religious and linguistic minorities. These challenges have to be addressed at every level of the policy pyramid. But for each of these initiatives to be successfully implemented, we need proactive and creative leadership at the state and district level. We need a more active civil society and media focus on the quality of governance at the state and district levels. We need a professional middle class. We need a combination of all these participants to transform our less developed regions and take them forward on the road to sustain development.